Hey, what's up everybody? It's Harvey Slater, Holistic Nutrition Coach. How's it going? Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make super easy um, kelp burgers or wakame burgers, any kind of seaweed actually. Uh, make it into a nice plant-based nutrient-dense burger that you can snack on or have for a meal. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get started on that. Uh, we've got our arrangement of ingredients here. And first what we're going to do is start out with about a cup of, this is a uh, seaweed mix of different types of seaweed. You can get dried or you can get it like cured. This was actually like cured in a package with salt so I had to rinse it really good uh, so it wasn't too salty. But you can find dried wakame or kelp and you can just rehydrate it like you would uh, dried mushroom. So this is about a cup of that or about a handful. I like to show things in hand portions and eyeballs as well because uh, measuring isn't always fun and uh, people don't always have time for that. Same here, we have, this is about three ounces of shiitake mushrooms that have been chopped up. Again, a cup or a really big handful, right? Then we have, uh, we're gonna do, maybe about two tablespoons to a quarter cup of chopped onions. I'm just gonna sprinkle about half of that in and we're gonna see how it tastes a little later. That's about two tablespoons. And then we have some chia seeds. And with the chia seeds, I have ground them a little bit in a coffee grinder so that they're partially ground. This is gonna help make them easier to uh, absorb and be it's going to be a binding agent which is gonna hold the burger together as well as pr uh, providing some awesome nutrients. So that's six tablespoons of chia seeds. Then we've got about one and a half cups or a drained can of, of canned uh, garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. <clears throat> and then we have one of my favorite uh, flavorings, of course, is the good old nutritional yeast. And we're gonna put about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast in there for seasoning. Now at this point, you can do just about anything you want with seasonings. You could put some ginger in there, some fresh ginger. I like this uh, Asian seasoning from Whole Foods. It's like a blend of a bunch of different, different interesting stuff. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that in there. Um, I think miso would be really good in this, but the problem is uh, this seaweed that I have is salty, so I'm afraid if I put miso in there, it might make it too salty. So for now, I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of the seasoning in there, and then I'm going to mix it up and see how everything tastes. Now the best way to mix this is to go ahead and just start smashing the chickpeas with a fork like this, right? Because you want to smash them in there but you also want them to be a little bit chunky. You want to have a little bit of the um, garbanzo bean chunkiness because it adds check texture and it makes it look really interesting. So you could use a potato masher for this. And then of course, if you're like me and you don't mind getting your hands dirty, you can just go right in there and smush it with your hands. This is actually, in my opinion, the most effective way to do it because this really allows you to squish the chickpeas uh, really good so it blends in there. So this is going to take a handful of minutes to get this blended in really good so that it's all starting to bind together so that you'll be able to make some patties out of it. So I've been at this for, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. Starting to get so it's sticking together like, you know, like a dough that you're going to be able to make into patties, right? But there's still some, a few little loose pieces of chickpeas. So I'm going to take my fork and I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna smush them a little more. Make sure they get smushed down really good. You could also try this in a food processor. I'm just a little worried that if you do that, it'll just, it'll, uh, it would actually mix all this kelp up really good. Um, I was just trying to show you the easy version in a bowl so that it's not too complicated and you're not eating too many dishes, right? But going through here and just smushing out all of these chickpeas Another alternative to the chickpeas would be maybe some cannellini beans or black beans. They tend to be a little softer and they might smush more easily. I was just trying it with chickpeas because it just seemed like a good combo to me. And I like the way the color, I like the orange yellowish color of the chickpeas and how that contrasts with the uh, and the uh, seaweed and everything. So anyway, we're going to go with this just a little bit longer and then we're going to be ready to make our patties. 
All right, now the dough is good to go. It's nice and you can see it's got a nice cohesive type of consistency so it'll stay together just like just like ground meat except there's no meat in there. And I'm going to make little patties out of it. So this probably makes oh, maybe three or four little patties. It depends if you want little mini burgers like a snack or if you want good sized dinner burgers. I'm going to make kind of in the middle. And what I have here is this is a uh, baking pan with some spray, some pan spray that's been sprayed on it because that's going to help them be crispy and not stick. And there you go. You got one right there. One little seaweed burger. And go ahead and just do these up real quick. Another one. Looks like we're going to get about four decent sized burgers out of this batch. This one's going to be a tiny bit smaller than the other ones because I didn't really measure them. But again, I'm trying to lean more and more lately towards not worrying about measuring too much and being able to make delicious, nourishing foods easily. I found in my nutrition coaching practice that that's really what works for people. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray the tops of these with a little bit more pan spray. That way uh, it's going to help them crisp up a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and put these in the oven at uh, around uh, maybe 375 to 400 degrees. And they're probably going to need about 10 minutes on each side. All right, so here you have the uh, finished burger. Um, I baked this in the oven for about uh, 20 minutes, about 10 minutes on each side. Um, I think the oven's the best because it really bakes into the inside better, but you can try putting it on the griddle. But as you can see in the spirit of the Asian theme, I went ahead and I uh, paired this up with some beautiful um, persimmons and blueberries. So you can do that. You can have some slaw on the side or a nice big heap of steamed vegetables. But this is a really good nutrient-dense meal. The uh, chia seeds and garbanzo beans... Uh, contribute some really good dose of protein there and you're going to get some B vitamins and other minerals and nutrients in your mushrooms. So happy healthy eating to you and uh, thanks for stopping by. Let me know how you like it in the comments. All right, bye for now. Later days.